Hello guys, welcome to Burnt River Ranch's YouTube channel. I am going to be filming a new video today. I did a review of our spot on collar system. So it's a type of satellite containment system for dogs. And I did a review of that one a few months ago. But um, if you recall, if you've watched that video, uh, we were having some difficulties and challenges with that system. And we ended up sending our collars in for some warranty work and we got them back and we've now been using them again for about three months. So I wanted to do an updated review for you guys so that you understand um, the things that have changed with the collars and some new features that have come out. And I just wanted to give you guys an update of how the collars are working now that we've got them back. So let's get started. So first of all, we sent the collars in. Uh, the reason why we sent them in was because we were having issues with battery life and one of the collars actually wasn't charging at all. So we sent them back in, um, kind of expecting them to repair the collars. And I had looked on their website and I do recall there being in the fine print somewhere that you had to pay for shipping. So that was something that I was a little bit uh, worried about because I know that shipping from Canada to the States can be quite expensive. It was when we bought the collars. So I was a little bit worried about having to pay shipping again, but they surprised me and actually paid for shipping. So that was a really, really pleasant surprise and that helped a lot. So that I'm very thankful for that they ended up paying for shipping. We got the collars back within a few weeks. It was actually a really quick turnaround time, which was awesome because we use the collars 24 seven for our dogs. We have a farm and the dogs that we use the collars on are livestock guardian dogs. So they're outside 24 seven. Um, there's not really a time where we don't have dogs wearing collars because we need to keep them contained on the property um, and they need to be able to go all over the property to protect our livestock from coyotes and bears and cougars and whatever else kind of predators we have around the area. So yeah, so it was really imperative for us to get the collars back within a timely fashion um, as otherwise we were having to tether the dogs again. So I'm really happy to report that turnaround time was super quick when we sent them back for warranty. Basically, they just required us to take a few pictures of the collars to make sure that they weren't tampered with in any way or damaged uh, beyond repair so that we could send them back for warranty work. So that was no big deal. They gave us a shipping label and we sent them back. Now, I was quite surprised when I opened up our box when we got the collars back to find what I believe to be two brand new collars. Um, I was expecting them to just get repaired. So that was exciting to see that we actually got two brand new boxes of collars, brand new charging docks, brand new prongs, everything. So that was really cool that we got just two brand new systems. I was not expecting that at all. From what I can tell, it looks to be that we have one collar that is the same style as the original ones we ordered and one collar looks to be a little bit of a newer updated version. Either way, both collars work the same, so we're happy with them. Like I said in my last video, I talked about battery life being an issue for us. Um, I felt like we were just charging the collars a lot more than we needed to. But we've changed some things about how we use our collar systems. I've found that um, using them on our dogs, when it gets colder than minus 20, really zaps the battery life. So we've decided in our particular situation that we don't use the collars when it gets below minus 20 degrees Celsius here. And we just tether our dogs or manage them differently during that time period. We're also very careful that we put the charger or put the collar on the charger after it's allowed to come in the house and warm up a bit before we just throw it right on the charger. I think that the cold weather and throwing it right on the charger after taking it off the dog when the collar is cold, I think putting it on the charger like that is part of the reason why maybe we were having some struggles last time. Um, just that shock from the temperature uh, was hard on the collars. So that's just what we've chosen to do. And I find that the battery life is lasting way better now from us doing that. I think with our extreme temperatures, I don't know if there is a system on the market or a battery on the market that's gonna really stand up to those extreme temperatures. 
I mean, like even with our power tools, our drills and stuff like that, we always bring the batteries in the house. We don't leave them outside when it's really cold because it's just really hard on the batteries and wrecks the battery life. So I think we're gonna apply the same protocols to our dog collars. Another thing I said in my last video was I talked about the subscription service that Spot On offers. It's a subscription service that you pay for in order to get tracking on your collars. So if your dog leaves containment and you wanna track where they are, or even if they're in containment and you just wanna know where they are on your property, you can um, do the tracking option. And I had mistakenly said that it was $95 US per month per collar system. And I just want to retract that statement and correct myself. So there's actually three different options that Spot On offers. So there's a monthly option that you can do where you pay um, $9.95 US a month for that. And there's another option which is a one year plan and it is $7.95 a month. So that works out to about $95.40 US per year. And then if you want, you could do the two-year plan, which is even cheaper still, which is $5.95 US a month. And that works out to $142.80 per year. And if you go with the one-year or the two-year plan, they just bill you one payment and that's it. And then you're set up for the one or two years. So I just wanted to retract uh, my statement there and correct myself. So um, yeah, there's definitely something that if you're looking for tracking, it's actually more affordable than I thought it was and we do use tracking on our one caller it's just that sometimes our cell service isn't the best and that tracking option doesn't always work that great I know in my last video we talked about a lot of negatives about the spot on caller system in our particular situation and I just thought that after using the product and dealing with customer service um, for longer and getting repairs done and such. I just wanted to say that I think that the system is deserving of some positive feedback as well. So before we chose to do the spot on system, we looked at a lot of different collar options that are on the market. And the reason why we ended up choosing spot on was just because of the ease of use. It comes with an app, you can do everything yourself and it does such a large area. So that was really important to us. We looked into a brand called Invisible Fence, which um, quite a few people in our area have used when they have decided to go with a satellite collar system for their dogs. And the reason why we decided not to go with that system was because they have a base price, I believe it is for the first 10 acres. And then every 10 acres additional to that adds an extra bit onto the fee. So when we looked into getting that system, I think our quote was around five to $6,000 Canadian. So that was far more expensive than the spot on system. Another downfall of that system is you have to have someone come out and install the fence for you. So now you're arranging times and getting a tech to come out and set up the fence for you. They only set up one fence and you cannot do it yourself. I will say one pro about that type of system is that they do have a longer battery life and you can actually switch the battery out on the collar without taking the collar off the dog. So you don't have to charge it or anything. It's just a battery that you pop into the collar. So that's definitely a pro, but it didn't outweigh the negatives for that system for us. So let's just talk about some of the features of Spot On that I thought are worthy of talking about. First of all, uh, just recently they've actually lowered their price. So when we bought the system, it was $1,495 US plus GST plus shipping. Um, and they've actually lowered it now. So it's starting at $1,195 US and they offer they still offer a multi-collar discount. So that's awesome. Um, Another great thing is that this system can do thousands of acres. So if you have a large property like we do, then you can really do a lot of areas. Another cool thing about this collar is that you can do, I think up to 20 fences and you can put those collars to whatever fence you want. And if you want to do just a quick circle fence, like say you took your dog somewhere and you didn't want to set up a boundary line, you could just do a quick circle fence and then they're contained that way as well. 
The fences are fully customizable. You can set them however you want. One cool thing that they have now is you can actually set the fence boundary on your phone on their app. When we first got the collar, you had to actually walk the boundary, which I believe you still can do that. But now you can do it on your uh, on your app, on your phone. So that is a bonus. Of course, like I said, they have the tracking option. So that can be super handy to use as well. They're constantly updating the system, constantly adding new features to the collar. They've just added two new features just recently. They have a keep out zone. So if you want to make your fence, but there's certain areas inside that fence that you want to actually keep the dogs out of, you can do that as well. So like in our situation, we have a big garden, we have a dugout and maybe some other areas on the property that you don't want the dogs to go to, but you still want them contained in that one fence area. You can now set up keep out zones. And you can also even set up a, um, it's called a home zone. And that is so that when your dog comes in the house, if your dog is a dog that comes inside the house, then you can actually set a home zone so that the caller, when they come in the house, doesn't accidentally um, correct them. Because I think they had issues with that before where dogs were coming into the house and getting corrections, like false corrections. So it seems like they fixed that glitch now and they've added a home zone if that is something that pertains to your situation. They've improved the battery life now, so they now boast 22 hours of containment and a little bit less with the tracking option activated. They have a forest mode, so if you have a lot of trees and wooded areas on your property like we do, then it can improve the boundary lines, the floating of the boundary lines when you're using the collar if you have the forest mode on. You also get notifications on your phone if the battery is getting low or if your dog is leaving containment on your phone. So that can be super handy. Another one I thought that was worth mentioning is that you can change all your caller settings on their app using Bluetooth. So if you want to adjust the static level of correction, you can just go ahead and do that on the app. You don't have to touch anything on the caller. There's no remote or anything. You just do it on your phone. Um, if you want to raise it, lower it, turn it off completely, then you can just do that on your phone. So that's nice. I will say one of the points of improvements that I would love to see spot on make in the future is their buckle closure system for the collar to attach it to the dog. It's adjustable, which is great. However, the way that it's designed always makes me paranoid that it's going to fall off. And it has in the past fallen off. So that is a cause of concern for me. So I would definitely like to see them improve that closure system on their collars to make it still adjustable but far less likely to fall off the dog. For such an expensive collar system it is worrying to know that it can come off. Secondly, this is a big ask but I think it would be great, hi Nora, if they could also add a feature onto their collar in the future where you can also use it as an e-collar just a regular e-collar, even if you had to use your phone as a remote or if it came with a remote, where you could use it not only for containment inside a boundary, but also for training with e-collar type feature. So, you know, for in our example, um, or for an example in our situation, it would be handy to have a collar that we could use as an e-collar, for example, to say, we're watching our livestock guardian dog in training go after a chicken and it would be nice to be able to give them a zap at that moment with the collar that they already have on instead of having to have a second collar an e-collar that you put on the dog in our situation there has been times where we have had up to four collars on one dog why they have their identification collar that's really bright because our dogs kind of look like wolves or coyotes, just their coloring and size. They also will have their spot on system containment collar. If they're in training for something, they might have their e-collar on. And then on top of that, they might even have a wolf collar on because we have such a high predator load here. So a wolf collar is basically just a big wide collar with spikes sticking out of it to protect them if a wolf or some other predator comes and tries to bite them around the throat. So four collars on a dog is a little much. It's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. So to eliminate that, it would be nice to have just one less collar at least on them. So just a thought for spot on if they wanted to maybe add a really cool feature to their collar would be to add something like that. 
One thing I wanted to point out was that despite all the issues that we did have when we first started using the spot on system, customer service has been really excellent to deal with. They've always been really good at getting back to our emails quickly or answering our questions on the phone in a super friendly manner and just being really good to deal with. I know that when they first set up this system, I would say, in my opinion, that the system was kind of designed more for pet dog type of application. So, you know, if you have like your dog and you went camping with it or you're going somewhere with your dog hiking or whatever, and you just want to keep your dog with you, or maybe your dog just goes outside for a couple hours during the day and then they come back in the house with you after. I think that the collar was originally designed for that. Whereas in our specific situation where the dogs are wearing the collars 24 seven and they are outside 24 seven, there's a high predator load. So there's lots of temptations for them to leave the boundary area. I would say that um, it was very good of spot on to be so willing to work with us and willing to come to solutions for our issues, despite our situation being a little bit different than some other people's. Remember how I said that the collars, we felt like we were constantly switching them out and charging them all the time? Well, actually Spot On's been so great to send us two brand new collars to use as backups. So I thought that was really nice of them to go above and beyond to do that for us. In our situation, I feel like we are putting the collars to the ultimate test. We are testing their waterproof ability. We have spring runoff, we have a river, we have dogs outside 24-7 playing around in the mud and whatever. We have large dogs that are stubborn, so potentially harder to train on the system, and they are hard on stuff. We have a very large area that we need to use the containment system for. We also have very extreme temperatures. So we range from minus 40 in the winter all the way up to plus 40 sometimes in the summertime. So that is a very large range of temperature that we expect these collars to work in. Like I said before, we have a very high predator load. So lots of temptation to leave that boundary. We have also lost the collars before. So being that we have such a large area and sometimes with the dogs wearing the collars for extended periods of time, we might not know exactly where that collar went when it fell off and possibly the battery is now dead and we cannot find it. I have phone spot on in the past and they said that they are able to track the last known location of the collar. So that can be very helpful. They can also um, activate a tracking subscription service if needed. If you want to use it and the collar is still charged, you can try to find the collar that way. Yeah, so I just want to say that spot on easily could have said in our situation that our expectations were way too high and that the system just, there's nothing they can really do for us. But instead, I feel like they've made changes and they've worked hard to try to come to solutions for us. And they've really went above and beyond with their customer service. They've put the work in to make a better product and increase affordability. And that customer service, like I said, is just icing on the cake. So all in all, we went from really kind of doubting this product to me actually being now an affiliate for them. So if you guys are interested in a system like this for your dogs and you have some questions, um, definitely feel free to ask away in the comment section, shoot me an email, ask on one of my Facebook pages or our Instagram messages, go ahead and ask away. I will try to help as best as I can. Like I said, I know our situation might not be the same as everybody else's, but I feel like there's a lot of um, market here for using this containment system for like a type of livestock guardian dog application like what we have. So if you guys are interested in a system like this one for that type of application, I would definitely say that out of all the systems that there are on the market, spot on is definitely at the top. They genuinely want to make sure that their customers are satisfied. And I would say I went from maybe possibly not recommending the system to I think I would recommend this system now. So if you guys are looking for a system like this for your dogs, definitely um, check out my link in the description. I have my affiliate link down there so you guys can click that and then it will take you to where you can buy the system. I also have a discount code if you guys want to use that for when you purchase the system. It will give you 10% off. 
So every little bit counts, I know. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching my video on the spot on system. I will keep you guys updated on how the collars are working in the future. I wish you all the best of luck if you decide to use this system. Take care.